Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're going in a great trip report. Hopefully we're going with Emirates again uh, with economy class. We're going to Dubai over and this is going to be one of our greatest trip reports and we're trying it out in 2023. Let's go ahead and check in. So today's flight is quite a long one, so we're just going out over to the check-in. So just checked in and it was quite a long process. I think there's a lot of delays happening around like the the holidays and there's a lot of people crowding and pushing so but uh, fortunately we did check in and immigration does open at four so we'll just be waiting by the security uh, customs so just waiting for the security and customs and i'm just going to walk over and check out some of the facilities so just uh, past security and now we're going to the gate it was quite a long walk from customs security over to the gate but there were some ATMs and a few shops open, but not really a lot open at uh, this early time, around 4, 4.30. Most of the lounges were closed, that was a bit disappointing, and you can see most of the shops were closed too, just a few vending machines, and then one bookstore was open, even like the duty-free shops wasn't open yet, they opened at around like 5.30, so it was already morning time. And we have just arrived at gate 57, which is where we are going to party. Okay, everyone, we have just arrived past security. Actually, one of the briskest security um, here at Sydney Airport that I've been to. And it's really quiet here. And you can see like all the views. And we're just here at gate 57. And it's almost time for morning in about like half an hour or so. So let's check out some of the great facilities here. Not much to see, but it's an airport. Okay, so now it's time for morning. It's around five o'clock, and we're just going to go up and um, go to the plane or we'll check out all the features there. Finally, board. And it's finally time to board. It's quite early in the morning. And today's is an Airbus A380. You can see the premium economy. It's straight back to economy. And I'm in the front row seat, the bulkhead seats. Welcome on board everyone, just here at 53 Alpha and we're going to be reviewing this. Pushback was quite um, quick as the flight was already a bit late due to a lot of people um, boarding.
we just took off very great take off with study views and it's almost time for being service and I'm going to see each soon. So this is the IV system on the Airbus A380. It had information, it had a ton of movies in all kinds of languages, a flight, like all the interactive features for ever, all the planes, lovers and spotters. It had all kinds of movies, um, themed Christmas and all kinds of uh, different genres. It was really one of the most comprehensive I, systems. I located the laboratory and the Airbus A380 and check all the features. It's pretty nice. So basically a uh, bathroom, toilet paper, a sink, and they even had some perfume and lotion and just a mouthwash, great mirror, and that is the stairs to the business and first class, the emergency exit. This is the emergency. The crew areas and of course indicators and there was like these ambient lights which really gave it a nice Setting. So the food just arrived, it was really nice with some uh, sausages, scrambled eggs. So the second course arrived which was lunch and lunch was a bit big at the breakfast which was really nice about five or six hours into the flight they with a it was like some nice really slow cooked beef with some tea. Okay, let's get this and try. So there were two options, the turkey and the beef, and then the train number. Is really tender and soft, and it is a bit dry, but overall, quite pressing for the lunch. Seat features uh, there was a this was the bulkhead seat with extra leg room, so you can see the seat belts, the nice um, middle tray table, window, and back to the great views. Enjoy. course was a chicken and leek calzone which was um, a bit salty. Let's try it. A bit salty but really has a good texture. So we almost come in for landing. We just have one hour and 40 minutes before landing.
can see the desert as we start to approach Dubai. Some great views. And as we touch down, it's about 1.30 p.m. local time in Dubai and um, really nice airport, really big, there was a short taxi to the gate and just like that the flight was over. So just landed and now walking up to the jet bridge. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please like, subscribe and share. We'll be back with more videos and trip reports soon.